Oprah. You heard of Oprah? Oprah. Oprah. So let me, here's how I see Oprah. I see Oprah as a person who is doing the best that she can. Um, she's insecure. Uh, she is a liberal. I don't think she has much respect for men. She's into the woman thing, and I'm not knocking that. But she is mucho liberal. And I have not seen Oprah rebuke anything that's wrong in that she goes along with homosexuality, transgender, so-called same-sex marriage, abortion. Um, she said once that racism is not going to end until all the old white people, a generation of people are dead, until they die, something like that. She believes that racism exists. And yes, she says that she believes in God. And there's no way, no way, no way that you could be a son or a daughter of God, never mind the color. There's no way that you could believe, uh, support evil, wrongdoing, evil, and support good. You can't serve two. You can't support good and evil. You either love one and hate the other. You can't be in and out. You can't be up and down. And you can't be all around. You're either on the straight and narrow path or the road, wide road that leads to destruction. And Oprah is a liberal, folks. Oprah supported Barack Obama, a far-left liberal socialist redistribution of wealth, um, first feminist president, abortion supporter, homosexual supporting, uh, transgender supporting, weak in the military supporting, Black Lives Matter, one of the worst organization that was founded by black lesbians and black homosexuals and radical far-left liberal social justice warriors, Barack Obama. Oprah supported that man. And I have to tell you, and remember, you heard it here first on the Jesse Lee Peterson show on Newsmax TV. Oprah is worse than Barack Obama. And I didn't think it could get any worse. It will if you vote for Oprah Winfrey. Believe me, you do not want Oprah. You don't want Camilla Harris, and you do not want Big Mama Michelle. Believe me. If you doubt me, look at the black community. Black women have been in charge of the black community for the last 60 years or so. Look what we have. Weak, pathetic black men who act and think and carry on like women uh, can't provide for themselves or their families or women. They can't stand up to women. Black women uh, hate black men, really. Um, drug use, gang members, gun violence, anger, the lack of self-respect, a dependency on programs. Black people talk about programs more than anybody I ever heard in my entire life. Everything is a program. No sense of individuality, no sense of independence. And Barack Obama nearly destroyed America with his socialist idea. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your health care, you can keep your health care. All lies. Oprah is worse. My, my word. That's why they supported one another, folks. Wake up. So she was asked, uh, this is from People Magazine. She was asked, Oprah was asked if she would run for president. Oprah says she has to hear, she has to hear from God clearly to run for president. Here's that sound bite. I pay attention when you have that many people saying something. I thought, well, gee, I've never in my life ever, ever imagined that I would be in politics. And I've always said, no, 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 no. Am I supposed to at least look at that question? Because I had enough 
people, billionaires, calling me up saying, I can get you a billion dollars. I can run your campaign. And I actually went into prayer about it. Like, God, if you if you think I'm supposed to run, you got to tell me. And it has to be so clear that not even I could miss it. Amazing. Hear it now. Hear it first. Let it be written. Let it be said. Let it be heard. God is not going to call Oprah for president. Oprah is a liberal. We just had eight years of pure hell with a liberal. All right? So let it be known. And white folks, take my word, you don't want Oprah. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. So here's what Oprah had to say when asked about racism. And white folks, you pay attention. I want you to hear this. We have already suffered eight long years of Obama, and it was very painful. And the black people thought, God called Obama to be president, right? And they still believe it. Some of them, God did not call Obama, and he is not going to call Oprah. He doesn't want a socialist over a Judeo-Christian country. Here's what Oprah had to say when asked about racism. Of course, the problem is not solved. You know, as long as people can be judged by the, by the color of their skin, the problem's not solved. As Amazing. long as there are people who still... And there's a whole generation, I say this, you know... I said this, you know, for apartheid uh, South Africa. I said this for my own, you know, community in the South. There are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism, and they just have to die. Ooh, you want to vote for that? White people, you want to vote for that? They just have to die. Uh-uh. Did you hear that in South Africa, speaking of South Africa, uh, Mommy Africa, uh, the, the government is, has amended the Constitution to take the land from white folks without paying them for it in South Africa. And this is uh, encouraged by the, uh, that organization that Nelson Mandela belongs to, belonged to at one time, be, until he died, I guess. Uh, what, um, what's the name of that organization, James, in South Africa that Nelson Mandela was a part of? ANC, a very liberal, radical, evil organization. And now white folks are under attack in South Africa. So South Africa is on its way to, to becoming a ghetto. And my final thing about this open thing is um, I remember when my uh, vice president, Mike Pence, you know, talked about being a Christian and how he hears from God. And on The View, they made a mockery of that. Uh uh, I don't believe he talked to God. He may be talking to God, but God's not talking to him. This is from The View. This is uh, this woman by the name of Sonny Hostin. And Joy Behar, then a great Vice President Pence Christianity. Behar called it mental illness when Jesus talked to you. So I'm wondering, is she going to call Oprah mental if Oprah comes back and says, God told her to run for president? Here's the sound bite. Look, I'm Catholic. I, I'm a faithful person. But I don't know that I want my vice president um, you well, know, speaking in tongues and having Jesus right. speak Like to I said right. before, I don't know if I want it's that. It's one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, that's different. I mean, <laughs> that's different. That's called mental illness, if I'm not correct. But no, I'm, I'm hearing voices. Amazing, huh? So will they say that about Oprah? Will they say that about her? I'm just wondering out loud. We'll see. If you hear about it, let me know, and we'll report it. Amazing, huh? And by the way, don't be angry at those women for saying that. That's what they're supposed to do. They are children of the lie. The children of the lie hate the children of the truth, and the children of the truth hate the children of the lie with righteous anger. All right? So don't be angry. 
Be glad to see that so you know who and what you're dealing with. All right? They are children of the lie. Joy Behar, these women on The View, they're doing their job. That's what they're supposed to do. But we, those who are on the side of truth, have to overcome those who are on the side of the lie. They have no power. All right? So don't be afraid. Fret not. God is with you.